stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their Top Stock Picks of the Week. Welcome to this week's Top Stock Picks. I'm Tracy Reinick, and I'm joined by Shiraz Mian, and we're bringing you two stocks in the hottest area of the stock market right now. But it's not technology. No, it's the other hot area, housing. And I'm going to lead off with one of the home builders, Toll Brothers, ticker TOL. Now, you may be wondering, how did you choose which home builder? Because a lot of them have great Zach's rank. There's five or six that are Zach's number one, strong buys right now. Toll Brothers is actually one of the ones that's a number two buy. But I chose Toll Brothers because it's unique. It's the only publicly traded luxury home builder. And its average homes are about 800,000 to 900,000, but it is building affordable luxury now for those millennials who wanna get their toe into the bottom end of the luxury market. And those are around 500,000. But why would you wanna buy luxury homes during a recession? Well, the upper bracket is still doing well. The stock market is still near its all time highs. And that means the luxury home market is strong. So Toll Brothers reported great earnings last quarter with that increase in new orders and its backlog is solid. But let's take a look at what those earnings estimates are really looking like right now because that's where the story is. So here's Toll Brothers earnings outlook. And as you can see under that magnitude consensus estimate trend right here, you're getting uh, an increase in these estimates here after that great second or third quarter, I guess it was. Um, and we're seeing, you know, this increase, it is expected to be down 24% from last year because sales at the beginning of the year, right when the pandemic hit, were basically stalled. So, but once they got past that, now everything's taken off again and they're expected to see these strong sales heading into the fall. And that's why we're seeing next year, uh, fiscal 2021, so strong. We're seeing a big jump there of 39% earnings growth. And that'll be above last year's earnings at 422 because, again, they're basically playing catch up to the demand, which has been just like phenomenally strong. These low mortgage rates are really driving, uh, you know, that side of the demand equation, plus people just wanting to get into new homes after being cooped up during the pandemic. But what is the chart looking like? I brought the two year here. So shares were at those highs going into the pandemic because the housing market wasn't horrible by any means going into the pandemic. And then we had the big sell off that was clearly a buying opportunity, but the shares have slowly ground higher, almost back to those highs, but not quite. So why do I still like it here? Well, some things have changed versus pre-pandemic. Not only is de demand much, much stronger, but you do have much lower mortgage rates, which are expected to stick around. They are at those record lows under 3%. And as Toll Brothers said on their earnings call, that different from even just a year ago means that the buyer, instead of buying the nine hundred or the eight hundred thousand dollar house with the four percent mortgage rate, can now buy the nine hundred thousand dollar house with the three percent rate. So it does increase affordability and get you a bigger bang for your buck, so to speak. So I still like Toll, and I like again all the other home builders. Toll's trading at only fourteen times earnings as that E side of the equation continues to rise. So I like the valuations on all the home builders. You can't do wrong on any of them. But what if you wanted to play an area outside the home builders? Everything having to do with the home right now is really hot. And I'm turning it over to Shiraz Mian right here to discuss that aspect with his pick. Thanks, Tracy. I'll continue with the housing uh, view in in this week's stock picks and mine is Home Depot. Uh, Home Depot uh, has uh, been a strong housing play uh, uh, even prior to COVID and has emerged as a major beneficiary uh, of, uh, of of this increased spending trend that we see in the economy uh, with families doing on their on their homes. Um, 
the reason for the increased spending is homes are more than spaces where we live. Uh, these are multifunctional spaces where we uh, we work, we study, we play, uh, and all of that has boosted demand uh, for the uh, products and services that Home Depot uh, and other uh, DIY uh, uh, home uh, 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 retailers uh, are providing. Now, if you do own Lowe's already, uh, I think you are in good shape. But if you have uh, no uh, retail housing exposure, uh, then I would suggest going with Depot, uh, even though uh, it's a bit on the expensive side, has had a good run up, uh, though Lowe's has done uh, slightly better this year, uh, partly uh, to catch up with the performance gap it has always had uh, with Home Depot. Uh, Home Depot had impressive results in Q2. Uh, comps were up more than 20%. All categories uh, were practically on fire. The trend uh, is, uh, uh, is, is expected to continue in the second half uh, as well. Uh, I think housing, uh, as Tracy shared with you, uh, is, is an area that's on track for strong momentum well beyond the next six to 12 months pandemic period. Uh, uh, given the uh, demographic uh, uh, changes and developments from the millennial generation. And Home Depot is an uh, excellent place uh, to, uh, to play that trend and to benefit uh, from those changes. Uh, so even though the stock has had a good run and uh, is a bit on the pricey side, particularly relative to Lowe's, uh, I, I strongly believe uh, that there's plenty of upside uh, for the stock, particularly uh, if you have a longer holding horizon.